Okay, actually, the Bajaj Auto numbers look better than the two estimates we had. Nomura's was 3.88 and Credit Suisse was 3.83. And uh, Bajaj Auto has done 3.93. Uh, so, quite clearly beating the street ex uh, estimates. And uh, that uh, is quite clearly getting reflected in the stock. In terms of exports, I think everybody expected them to do, do around 1.7 uh, mm -hmm. lakh uh, uh, units and they have done that 1.71. So surprise is clearly coming in domestic. They were uh, not expected to deliver as good as 2.2 lakh. Uh, it was uh, even, I think somebody was expecting a contraction if I'm not mistaken. Probably is Suisse, is yeah. the uh, Kotak expectation on domestic sales. So, mm -hmm. so they've, done they've, they've blown past, I mean, they've definitely, Kotak was on the lower side. They've really uh, sort of moved yeah. past those estimates and in, in great style, Bajaj Auto. Stock is up. One, one and a half percent. That's, you know, two, yeah. two uh, auto numbers which have been better than expected. To be fair, mm -hmm. uh, Escorts and Bajaj did not uh, join the slowdown which mm -hmm. we saw in other vehicles. But this could well tie in with things troughing out perhaps uh, or, uh, you know, what Anuj has been talking about, perhaps time to look at uh, mid-caps. Mm -hmm. uh, would you read some mm -hmm. larger ramifications into this, uh, 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 Tahir? that probably growth itself is troughing out, these Bajaj numbers and Escorts numbers? Uh, uh, very difficult to react. Uh, you know, uh, I, I think uh, clearly the numbers look, uh, like as I said, uh, relatively better compared to what the subdued expectations in the market have been. Uh, uh, and given the fact that, you know, they've faced a few challenges also in terms of uh, uh, overall costs going up, etc. So I think uh, it's a it's a nice number to have uh, from the auto pack. Uh, and if we can probably see it across some of the other verticals also, then uh, I think uh, this is a segment which will once again attract the attention of the market. Okay. All right, uh, Tahir. Thank you so much for that. Uh, appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us on the show today. Well, the sector of the moment of the morning and actually of the last one month has been sugar. There's also fresh uh, overnight news that's coming in. It's a booster shot for the sugar industry. The cabinet has approved a package of about 10,540 crores. This is in the form of soft loans to the sugar sector. Sugar companies have also been in focus after the government hiked, of course, the minimum selling price for sugar earlier this month. Uh, we have with us Abnish Verma, Director General of ISMA, as well as Tarun Sahani. Vice Chairman and Managing Director of Triveni Engineering joining us on the line to talk about some of these developments. Abnish, uh, first things first, now this package that was announced yesterday, 10,500 crores of soft loans as an interest rate subvention of 7 to 8%, basically getting mills to clear the dues. It comes with certain riders, but your first thoughts? See, first of all, let me uh, see the rider. The rider says that any sugar mill which would have cleared 25% of their cane price dues in 2018-19 sugar season are eligible. I think most of them, almost all of them would be eligible because 25% I think everybody would have paid. So therefore, the whole industry should gain, number one. Number two, the government has said that they will give an interest subvention of 7 to 10% on the interest burden on the uh, loan that they get on about, about this 8,000 to 10,000 crore that they have said. So obviously for a year or so, and they have calculated to be at about 550 crore to almost 1,000 crore. Obviously it's going to help the industry get some funds. Uh, how soon? That's a big question because all these people will have to go to the banks and then get the loan. But yes, it will certainly help with the cash flows and payment of cane price of the farmers. Okay, let me get it uh, from the man who knows where the shoe pinches, Tarun Sani, Vice Chairman and Managing Director of uh, Triveni Sugar, also with us. Uh, uh, sorry, Triveni Engineering, also with us. Tarun, your thoughts uh, for your own balance sheet or for your PNL, what difference will this make? So, good morning. Uh, firstly, I think that this is a very important move that the cabinet has taken. It is, it is looking at a burgeoning problem. Uh, the figures for arrears across the country had crossed 20,000 crores. And therefore, for the cabinet to look at this decision at this point in time is, is, is very timely. It's very appropriate. It will certainly help the industry across the board. So the entire country should benefit. It addresses approximately 50% of the arrears as they stand today, which is a substantial amount. The, the balance portion of the arrears will also be addressed by the minimum sale price of sugar, which is increased by the CCEA from 29 rupees per kilo to 31 rupees per kilo. So it's a, it's, it, the both, both of these, uh, very short, uh, these measures that have happened over the past 
two weeks to three weeks will help in bringing down this 20,000 crore area. Tarun, we will have to dial in to you again, uh, but we've got the gist of what you've said. We'll dial in in just a minute. Uh, uh, Tarun saying that uh, the uh, riders are easily met, so 10,540 crore uh, should help across the board the sugar industry and of course the more important uh, rise in sugar price, minimum sugar price from 29 to 31 rupees. Uh, uh, Abhinash, if you can uh, tell us uh, a bit with these two, should we help, sh should it help most of the sugar mills in UP come out of the red? Uh, I see. First of all, let's understand that uh, most of the UP sugar mills, uh, which are listed companies, have reported uh, uh, margins, uh, positive margins in the last quarter or the last couple of quarters. So at 31 rupees, I believe that they should break even, uh, including depreciation, the cost is more, but that doesn't impact the cash flows. With this kind of help, which is going to take care of almost about 550 crore, if somebody gets a loan of, say, 200 crore from here, they save about 20 crore, 25 crore on their interest burden. So it's, it's a reasonably uh, good number. It certainly will help the industry pay uh, quickly to the farmers and not fall into uh, any kind of debt burden or uh, default of debt of the banks. So I think a very positive move. The government has taken several steps in the past few months. And these two, the recent one of increasing the minimum price and now the subsidized loans to the sugar mills is certainly going to help. Big move from the government, positive move from the government. Okay, what is also happening simultaneously, uh, Abhinash, is that we've been getting reports that perhaps in the current sugar year, the output might not be as much as what we've been getting. I mean, this glut that the you know the market has been in the midst of. So help us understand the supply dynamics, uh, supply and demand, considering now exports are also happening. I mean, we're exporting to Iran. At the same time, this year, the output is supposed to be perhaps on the lower side. So that, again, becomes a booster, right? It certainly becomes a booster in the sense that it, the production is going to be less than la last year. But what is important to note is that we carried a very high inventory of more than 10 million or 10 and a half million tons of sugar as the opening stocks. And if you compare our uh, production versus the domestic consumption, we will only add a plus uh, whatever we export, we will only add to that inventory. So the inventory from 10 and a half million, we are seeing that the inventory will be higher for the start of the next season. But very importantly that we should note from here, the world market is already looking at a deficit next year. ISO, the International Sugar Organization, has already revised its numbers for the current season from a surplus of 2 million tons down to half million ton. Next year, they are looking at a deficit of 2 million or 3 million tons. Therefore, even if we carry a very large inventory into the next year, we see positive uh, uh, movement of the international prices and that therefore we get an opportunity to export 4 million or 5 million very quickly in the next season. And therefore I feel that the problem of the industry should have bottomed out and we should now look at a good future from here on for the industry. So what does that mean in terms of immediate prices here at home, Abhinash? Uh, 31 is now the MSP. Uh, do you see prices gradually trending higher? See, uh, let, let us understand the demand and supply position clearly indicates that the prices should have been much lower than 31 rupees or 29 rupees which were existing earlier. It could have dropped to 25 or 26 rupees. The support is only coming from the fact that the government has brought in a law saying that you cannot sell below 31 rupees at your mill gate. So the domestic prices are getting support from that law or from that order that it cannot fall below 31 rupees. Therefore, even if the uh, domestic supplies are going to fall next year or we're going to export more, I don't see the domestic prices moving up any significantly from here on. Tarun, uh, does the money normally come smoothly, this 10,540 crore of subvention? It does. I think the, the banks, especially the public sector banks, have been broadly streamlined into this process. This is not the first time that the industry has been going for subvention loans to the banks, and so the processes are, are fairly straightforward and should happen very quickly. Well, uh, finally, I wanted to ask both of you one question. Uh, 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 Abhinash, where are we in the sugar cycle? It normally moves with a three-year uh, three down cycle followed by a three-year up cycle. So are we now in the up cycle? Uh, see, uh, if you look at the last about seven to eight years or ten years, 
we have not shown that production cycle at all. We are always above the domestic requirement, except for two years back when there was a major drought. So unless there is a weather issue, unless there is a drought somewhere in the country, we do not see a big fall in the domestic uh, uh, supplies for, as compared to the domestic production. Yes, there has been drought in Maharashtra and North Karnataka because of which next year's production seems to be lower. But we believe that it's the production next year should still be above the domestic requirement. However, next year I see that the ethanol uh, capacities would have increased and therefore as compared to half million tons of sugar which is getting diverted into ethanol this season, next year we might divert about one and a half or even positively about, about two million tons of sugar get, will get diverted. Therefore, next year I don't see there will be a deficit as compared to the domestic requirement. It will be a very balanced situation but because of the high inventory that we are going to carry into the next year, we will need to export sugar. And if the world market is positive, good prices are there, we should be easily making uh, some kind of, I mean, good kind of margins there. Okay, just very quickly, um, uh, Tarun, the cabinet yesterday also approved something uh, to the tune of 2,000 crores as viability gap funding for 2G ethanol projects. Now, I'm not too sure about what is the second generation ethanol project. Does it help a company like yours? So, second generation ethanol project is not the conventional ethanol that we've been talking about. The oil marketing companies are the ones that are setting up these second generation projects. But the cabinet has already sanctioned a substantial six or seven thousand crores worth of loans for conventional ethanol projects. Avinash just mentioned that there is going to be an onset of a lot of capacity that is going to happen over the next six to eight months. Now, all of this capacity will assist us in meeting this uh, this cane balance and sugar balance uh, in, in ensuring that we have a more balanced scenario, not just now, but for the next few years. Now, this is only going to increase. Very honestly speaking, there is a process of approximately two years in terms of establishing an ethanol plant. That process, from a permission perspective, is being cut down, and the central government is looking at ensuring that the permissions take a shorter period of time. Now, once that actually happens, you're going to see a much greater onset of additional capacity for the manufacture of ethanol, okay. conventional ethanol. Okay. All right. We'll have to leave it at that because you're out of time. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. We have to take a break and concentrate on the big numbers that came in from Bajaj Auto. Numbers look very good, better than what the street expected.